Hi friends, Micah Supreme here coming at you guys with another reading. So I kind of have to do one more video to put myself at, at uh, 99 videos so that my 100th video can be my sacred Sunday reading like I want it to be. So that means that I got to do a, a pick a card. And so for this pick a card reading, I decided to do something that's quick and easy for me to do and that I can easily read. Not to mention that this was also another viewer request. Um, this one is about what energies are around you. Um, I'm going to I'm pretty much just going to say, like, you know, what's next? Because usually this reading, this reading kind of just boils down to the way that I that I interpret it as like what's happening with you right now and what's coming in for your future. So it's basically a what's next reading. Um, if you guys been around my channel for a while, I do a couple of what's next readings, what's next in love, what's what's next in general. So this isn't a reading that's like outside of my comfort zone. And it's one that I can do literally in my sleep. So what better video to uh to just do when I don't really feel like making picket cards than this. So yeah. As I said, this was a topic that was requested by uh, King of Aloha Tarot. Like I said, gave me a, a very long list of requests. And I promised to do some of them, at least two or three of them. So this is number two out of the requests that I felt like I could handle and that I should do. So for this reading, I will be looking at your past, present, and future energies to see what you've been going through, what you're kind of in the middle of right now, and what you're going to be transitioning into relatively soon. So for this reading, and for, for Paul's selection for this reading, I'm going to ask you guys to pick your own decks. So for Paul 1, we have the Mystic Mondays deck. For Paul 2, we have the Wandering Star Tarot. For pile three, we have the Cosmic Slumber Tarot. And for pile four, we have the Mystical Manga Tarot. So you guys can take the time that you need. Uh, the pick whichever deck really speaks to you. Whichever one looks interesting and catches your eye. Do what you got to do. And with that out of the way, we will be getting into piles, uh, to pile one. As soon as I bring all these decks out, which I should have done before I started the video. But you know me, I am a sussy baka and I didn't do it. But I'm doing it now. If you chose the Mystic Monday Tarot uh, deck, then this reading is for you. So let's get into the energy of what's happening around you, pile one. What's going on? What's going on here? Okay, pile one. We got grounding, service, and to be fair. This is this was uh, the reading that I found that was like super easy. Pile one, whatever's been going on, you really kind of just been chilling. Like <laughs> that's all I really feel about, and that's really what I feel about in this energy is that you really just been chilling. Like everything has been kind of winding down. Maybe you just got out of like just came out of a really like hectic or chaotic period in your life, or maybe some uh, really active period. But with grounding here representing your recent past energy power one, things have just been been chilling. Like you've been going deep, exploring your roots. The, the energy of grounding is that of like calming down, of learning how to relax, unwind, and get rooted and connected to the present moment of your life. And that's something that's very, very prevalent here for grounding to show up in your recent past energy. But by recent past, I really mean like, you know, could be last week, could be last month, could even be freaking yesterday. <laughs> like this is very recent energy. And very recently, you grounded yourself, relaxed, calmed down, and you brought your energies to a nice little halt. 
or at least to a, a more calm pace. Everything has been slowing down. So what we have here with your present energy is that of service. Uh, service talks about being kind to other people, going out there and doing acts of service. Maybe you've been feeling a lot more charitable lately, Pile One. Maybe you've just been feeling, I'm hearing like sociable. Like really just feeling like going out, talking to people, might even help a help a person or two solve their problems, be a listening ear for someone. Like I really feel like you're you have like space. You have emotional space right now, Pile One. You're very emotionally available to help and assist other people. Especially since this is a twenty two card, which is uh the twos usually represents a union, a coupling. Or like a, a invitation into other energies. So it makes sense that service is number 22. You're actually in a very good energy. In a very good like uh, mental state right now. Mental and emotional state, Pile One. I, like I said, this is like an easy breezy reading. And your energy is very easy breezy. And that's what we like to say. So I'm going to read this service card to you. What sweetness to give yourself the service... To, to service someone with all your love. People talk a lot about money scarcity. Our fear that there is never enough money. That if we give our money, it will never come back to us. That we feel we don't deserve money. But we can also have this fear around love. Love can also be viewed as a currency. This can come from an ultimate lack of love for ourselves. When we don't pay enough attention to giving ourselves validation and deep love and care, we tend to look to others to do that for us. So it becomes like a currency. This person gave me this much love, so I will, in return, give them this much attention. It is a way for us to feel like we won't give all our love away, only to have nothing given back to us. If you love yourself deeply, it is the well that never runs dry. If your well is overflowing, let it shower on those around you. People you love, strangers, environments you love, or uh, people you love, strangers, or environments. Your love has an effect on everything, and little acts of kindness will not be forgotten by those who are on the receiving end. This card encourages you to act in loving service to the world around you. You can hush a shout with the gentleness of the rippling water of your ever-flowing well. Like I said, Pile One, you guys are in such great energy. I, I do feel like you guys are in this energy of overflow. You guys have really been, especially with grounding being in your recent past, you guys have really come to a place where you're much more secure, much more stable in your emotions and in your energy. And now it's the time, like in your present energy, to like really give to other people. I'm sorry, I'm heating up. That happens every time I start channeling now. Mouth dries up and then I start heating. Give me a second. So yeah, Pile One, I really feel like you guys' energy is like really off the charts. You guys are in the mood or in the, or in the energy and have the capacity to give. And what's funny is that in the future, what's coming next for you is we have the To Be Fair card. The To Be Fair card talks a lot about making like decisions or really just making, yeah, making decisions that is fair and balanced for everyone involved. Not only for you, but for the other parties that's involved as well. I also felt and heard like the energy of balance. Balance is really being restored back into your life. Like I said, you really could just be transitioning out of a very hectic, chaotic, or even excitable time in your life. And now everything is really starting to calm down, be brought to balance, be brought to order. <laughs> and really, Pile One, what's next for you, the energy that's, um, what's next for you? The energy that's around you is that of serenity, of calm, of compassion, and of giving. Because in the future, you're going to be asked to give. What's coming to you is you're going to be asked to give. You're going to be asked to maybe mediate a situation between two people that you know or you and someone else, or you're going to be asked to donate your time, your love, or maybe even your money. And, you know... <laughs> The, the advice here is not to pretend like you don't have it. Don't fall into that lack mindset and say, oh, I can't do this. No, gift. <laughs> okay, gift. It'll be all right. That, that money, that time, that love will come back to you. So give it freely. You're, you're in the perfect position to do so, Pile One. And I really feel like that's what's, being, that's what's going to be asked of you. Of course, you have free will. 
you don't have to do it, but I strongly suggest you do. <laughs> if you wanna, if you want some blessings, if you really wanna, you know, have be in good standing with your spirit guides in the universe, I suggest you give, especially if you're with this service card and your present and your present energy. You have the capacity to do it. And if it's not for you giving for someone else, like if you you really feel like, but no, everyone's been taking from me and I've just been giving, giving, giving. I'm all tapped out. Take it how it resonates and give to yourself. Make sure that you start negotiating more fairer treatment for yourself. If you really are someone who's like selfless and always giving, make sure that you spend more time giving to yourself. And that could also be a very powerful message here as well, especially with grounding, getting more connected to yourself and, and giving yourself the love the time and attention that you need, power one. So take it how it resonates. If you really just been in this energy of give, 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 now's the time to give to yourself. But if you really been holding out to yourself, been replenishing your stocks, your stores, and now you just feel like you have an overflow, now's the time to share that love. Take it how it resonates, power one. So let's get some tarot cards out here. Let's see what they're going to add to the message. Mm, okay, okay. Okay. We love to see it. All right. We have the Three of Swords, Ace of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. So, yeah, Pile One. This feels a lot about really, like I said, something kind of could have just like recently happened because we have the three of swords here in the, in the recent past. I'm going to take the six of wands. It's just like the bottom deck card. But from the past, present and future energy. Yeah. And I'll place the six of wands at the top. There we go. This is how I'm going to structure this reading. Got it. With the three of swords being over like the grounding energy, there's really been a, a recent setback or disappointment that you really had to like ground yourself in, like really take the time out to like understand, get to your roots, find your safe and happy place <laughs> and really come and really come down and like really calm down and settle down your energy. That's why I really feel like you guys have really overcame, just came over out of a, a vicious cycle, a tough lesson, or maybe just a lot of things happening at once. But the three of swords let me know it was more, more probably more so on the on the negative side of what you just came out of. The Ace of Wands over the service card lets me know that you're being gifted energy, inspiration, light, and love. And that's perfectly okay here with the service card. Like this is a, a lighting of your a relighting of your fire. You're not gonna let whatever happened in the recent past keep you down anymore. Your present energy is very much of I'm getting over it. <laughs> like I'm getting over it. I'm finding my spark. I'm ready to get back out there and I'm ready to do it again. And with the to be fair card in your future and the eight of pentacles, this could also be about a work situation. Maybe a co-worker did something slimy in a recent past and, you know, that kind of like hurt you a little bit. Maybe this has something to do with, uh, maybe this does have something to do with like, you know, maybe a relationship or a family member. I don't know. Take it how it resonates, Pile 3. I'm not going to go digging into your recent past and, and doing some tarot spying and snooping. That's for personal readings. But <laughs> in your future with the Eight of Pentacles and the To Be Fair card, I really feel like you're going to like really hunker down and focus, especially with the Eight of Pentacles here is this woman just like painting, getting involved in a hobby or something that makes her feel good and focusing more so on her craft. Like I said, I really feel like this just might be the energy of you giving back to yourself. I feel that very, very strongly. I feel like the first message that I said about like someone feeling like very like open and ready to give might be for a very small number of people that pick this pile. Most of you guys might really just need to give to yourself, reconnect to yourself and like really replenish your own stores. And in the future, there's going to be an attempt, a, a bigger focus on making sure that you get what you deserve, get recognized for the work that you do and put a little bit more focus into the things that make you happy. Because we do have the six of have the six of wands at the bottom of like the deck in the bottom of your reading, which lets you know that recognition, victory, and confidence is going to be restored and brought back into your life. 
whatever that situation was in the recent past is completely dead and gone. You've risen above it and you're in a beautiful place right now. And you're going to be coming into somewhere even better, Pile One. Your energy is chef kiss. It's amazing. You guys... You guys are truly over whatever it is that's, that happened. And if you're not over what happened in the past, now's the time to give to yourself and focus on yourself until you're able to like really get over it. So, Pile One, that's the energies that surround you. It's a very beautiful, it's very beautiful energy. It's very clear and succinct message here. And we love to see it. So if this reading resonates, please leave a like or a comment. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Uh, if you guys want to book a reading with me, the links to do so are in the description box. And if you guys want to donate a deck, that's also in the description box. Thank you and be blessed. If you guys have chose the Wandering Star Tarot, then this reading is for you. So let's see what we have here for you, Pal 2. So Pal 2, in the recent in your recent past, we have discovering truth. You stand in the light of truth. Now, one of the funny things is, is when I first got this deck, this was one of the first few cards that I actually seen come out. This Discovering Truth card really tells me that in the recent past, you just had a, a turning point in your life. There's something, there's a decision that, that you made that's really putting you on a brand new curve and a brand new tra trajectory in your life. It's something that's very, very beautiful. It might not be a decision. It could be like a change of mindset or like a rebalancing of like goals and aspirations. Maybe a shift in perspective, a shift in perspective on your motives, I'm hearing, or the reason why you do what you do. There's a deep and there's been a deepening of like your knowledge, a deepening of your pers your perspective and a shift in your perspective is what I'm strongly hearing here. There's something brand new that's coming in. I really feel like this has a lot to do with money. This might has to do with the shifting from a scarcity mindset to an abundance mindset pile too. Maybe you guys have really, before was really focused and really freaking out about money, but now you're in a position where you don't even think about when you you got reached a place. I'm going to say this, you reached a place currently where money isn't even like the biggest thing that you're worrying about anymore. You're learning to let go of your fears of money to your, your scarcity belief mindset and, and tap in and tune into the energy of abundance, pile two. Um, I say that because in the present, you have something that is never truly yours. And with something that is never truly yours, it talks about not valuing money over everything, about really coming out of the, 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 scarcity, the scarcity mindset and realizing that, you know, Money is something that everyone can have and money is something that the universe can give abundantly. It's about really not letting money rule your heart, rule and grip your heart because it's never it's not yours in the first place. Money is is money is really given to you to be spent. Money is given to be spent. It changes so many hands throughout the day and you're really just learning that just as easily as money comes away from you, it can easily flow back into your life. And that's why I feel like this is a whole, this is like a reading on like your money. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. And I'm going to lock that in. You guys have been dealing with money troubles. And now you just decided to not feel so burdened by it. So I'm going to read this card. <sighs> Take a dollar bill in your hand. Think about all the hands that one piece of paper has passed through. All the lives of the people who put their energy into that one piece of paper, what it meant to them or didn't mean to them. Money can make people go crazy, change them, and destroy their sense of self. Is part of that because they're trying to put ownership on something that is never really their own? We can't possibly own something that involves so many other people in a system that is much larger than ourselves. Let go of that ownership. You can't control it. You can only control how you act within it and how you use it. Yes, this is letting go of your, your mindset over money. Not, not really clinging to it too tightly or valuing it so highly. Money is a means to an end. 
money isn't the end all be all. And that's something that you guys are really, uh, really like becoming more mindful of. And the reason why this is like such a big thing is because that's a very divergent mindset. Not a lot of people in the world think that. Like as you can see in the in the discovering truth card, this kid is going off the off the beaten path, off the different road. This is a radical shift in your perspective, and what's honestly truly good is like what's coming in for you, pal. Too is something very beautiful. We have the new life and the milk and honey card. This speaks of a radical shift in acceptance. You letting go of your scarcity mindset is really going to bring in so much beautiful abundance and newness in your life. I'm going to read both of these cards for you, pal, too. And I'm going to read the prosperity message for them. So let's see. Because I really feel it. I have to read the prosperity message. This is all about money troubles and money mindset. And I'm going to fill you up. You have every reason to be optimistic right now as things seem to fall in place magically. New opportunities, and this is the new life card. New opportunities remind you that abundance is available to you. The light and a bounty that begins to appear in surprising forms. Stay curious and know that your hopes and dreams are being fulfilled. It's as if new life suddenly infuses your projects, work, and creative ideas with a kind of electricity that crackles with exciting potential. Fortune is smiling on you. Like I said, Pile 3, you're heading into somewhere beautiful. And even with the milk and honey card here, the milk and honey is all about promises, abundance, re reaching that end of the rainbow, going through a, a tough time, really working on that, that mindset of yours and finally reaching and in the future because these cards represent your future. In the future, you're going to reach a very happy and abundant place. Because right now, you're in the middle, you're still in the midst of like changing your mindset. You finally let it go. And now it's the time to let that mindset really set in, become more, more stuck and settled. And then once that... I'm sorry, it's a Saturday night. People are out partying and being wild. <laughs> anyway, once that mindset really becomes like stuck and settled in your mind... And in your heart and in your energy, this is going to be a brand new shift and it's going to open so many doors for you. It's like everything is going to happen as if by magic. There is only one authentic you. This version, oh wait. Okay, this is the right one. There is only one authentic you. This version of yourself is spirit's emissary in the world. When you're in alignment with the truth that you are a unique expression of the divine, your ego can rest and your soul can illuminate your purpose. Now is the time when you're seeking your true north. When you find this direction, you automatically step into prosperity and the world brings you evidence of abundance. Miracles are a choice and a way of seeing the world. Boom. With every choice you make right now, you have the potential to seize good, good fortune and embrace your destiny. Opportunities will lead you to your best life now. Be open to them. You're getting a sweet taste of what you want. These are the energies that's coming in for you, pal. Too. These are. This is your future. This is. These is. This is what you've been through. This is where you are now, and this is what's coming in. These are the. These are the energies that's surrounding you, and you're really about to walk in. You are faded and slated to walk into a really beautiful and abundant time in your life, pal. To believe it. Okay. So let's get into your tarot cards. What we got here for our pile twos? Be open to opportunities, I'm hearing. Like, once you once you really get into that, out of that scarcity mindset, there's going to be something that's really going to happen to, like, really challenge whether or not you're really out of that mindset or not. And once you pass that test... You'll open the doors to this new life and to this abundance and stepping into your purpose. There's something really beautiful about your energies, pile too. Something almost divine about it. And one of the things that you had to do was like shake off this, this negativity around money and this lack of belief in the universe in regards to money. You had to shake shake that off. And it's this one. Wow. I was channeling this card, and here it is. The Ten of Cups. Seven of Cups. Mm. 
And that's this one, huh? <laughs> and I'll take the bottom deck. Jeez, I'm gonna take both of these because this is perfect. It fits right in my aligns perfectly with this reading. Mwah. Love to see it. You love to see it. <laughs> Let me stop being a weirdo for you guys. All right, we have the Ten of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and at the bottom deck, oh, I mean the Ten of Cups, Seven of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and at the bottom we had the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. Now, with the Ten of Cups aligning with your past energy here, you really just reached a place where you can live. And here it is. And I was going to say that, and I'm glad it's written on this card. You reached the, uh, a place of contentment in your life. Like, you literally just reached this point. Like, where you decided to, like, see your money, see abundance, and see... To really shift your mindset and become more secure with the Ten of Cups here. Really secure and a prosperity mindset. Now, and like I mentioned before I even pulled the cards, it's going to be something that's going to test that for you. You're going to have to choose to stay in the energy of, of, of like really thinking and believing in abundance. You're going to be tested before, before the rest of this energy comes, before every, before what's in your future comes in, pal, too. Let me get this right. You're going to be tested before what's meant to come in comes in to make sure that you truly learned the lesson that, you know, you're not just trying to pretend and psych out the universe or you can't psych out the universe that you're not lying to yourself, which is the important part to make sure that you're not lying to yourself, pal, too, to see if you really learned your lesson and if you really can maintain this energy of abundance. There's going to be something that's going to come in and test you and you're going to have to make a choice. <laughs> you are gonna have to follow your instincts and really stand strong in what you believe. Because in the future, what's really coming towards you, once you pass this test, because we're going to speak that into existence here, once you pass that test, pile two, there's independence, the queen of pentacles. This is money where you can like really like have, have the things that you want and not really worry too much about like this or that. Really living, surviving, and thriving, and working in harmony and tandem with divine flow. And at the bottom deck, we have the Ace of Swords, which depicts success, change, and decisions. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles, which is inheritance, family, and prosperity. Prosperity came into your reading twice with the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. This is a happy family, a secure home. This is like the ultimate contentment that you can get both emotionally and now money-wise. And what's funny is now I'm seeing with the Ten of Cups coming in in the past energy, you, you finally got your emotions together and got it aligned. And in the end, it's going to translate into your physical money coming together and being aligned. As above, so below, I'm hearing. Once you really get your, your mindset, your energy, and your emotions together, secured, and stable in this abundance process, then abundance is going to come in. As if, and it's going to be a blessing. It's going to be an idea or opportunity that's going to come to yourself. You might really get inspired to do something. Or maybe I really feel, you know, yeah, this is an action. You're going to feel inspired to do something. You're going to have an opportunity present itself. And you're going to feel confident inside yourself to make that investment, to take that chance. And it's going to pay off for you in a big way. You're going to take an action towards your dreams, towards your goals. And it's going to pay off. It's going to pay off for you. Only thing you got to do is make sure that you stay in the energy and the mindset of abundance, pile too, because it's yours. It's faded and slated. Only thing you got to do is just pass this test and make sure that you maintain the energy of mindset and don't fall into the, to the energy of scarcity. So, pile two, if this reading resonated with you, please leave a like or a comment. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Uh, if you guys want to support my channel, you can book a reading with me and through the means in the description box. And if you also want to donate a deck to my channel, I love new decks, you can look to the description box for my Amazon wish list. Thank you and be blessed. Bye-bye. If you chose the Cosmic Slumber Tarot, then this reading is for you. Let's put that up there. Now, let's look into your energy pile three. Oh, that's right. That's this pile. 
All right, pile three. I feel like your yours is going to be a little bit more. Yours is going to be more deep than the other two piles, because I really feel like you've been going through something existential. <laughs> Like your your problem, your I won't say your problem, your challenge, pile three, was definitely having a lot to do with your life. Um, because in the recent past we had the energy of fogged in. Fogged in tells me to go slow and take your time, but I feel the energy of confusion with the fogged in card. Cause it talks about not being able to see your path or being able to see where you where you're going. I really feel like in a recent path, in the recent recent path. In a recent past, you made you decided to make a shift and a change in your life. And you've been no, it's not even in a recent past. In a distant past, you made a decision to change. And you've been really just in transition. <laughs> you've been in transition for quite a while, wondering when you're gonna reach the end, when you're gonna reach the destination. Like what's gonna happen? Is that it though? For some of you guys, that's it. But for for some of the, for for like I think another number of you guys, especially since fogged in is really just a recent past energy. I have to stick to that to the to the attention that I put on it with the recent past energy of, of of fogged in. You guys have really just been confused. Like there's something that you guys have really been hesitating on, and you need and you need and you've been needing to take your time with it because in your present energy we have a sheep who wandered and found a different shepherd and in between worlds. These two cards are definitely cards of transition and changes, especially the in-between worlds being number 55 and literally being between worlds. You guys have initiated a shift in your life and you're currently in the middle of it. No, you're thinking about it now. I get it. Okay. Okay. You guys have been feeling lost and confused in your life. Now you decided to make a change and in the future, you're going to be ready. Right now, you're still just pondering and still in the middle of the transition, but nothing is really like really shifted yet for you, pile three. This is why I said that your reading was going to be deep because this is definitely a lot of confusion around here. I'm feeling like I need to read the Fog Den card. So I'm going to read it for you guys because it's going to make this go a lot easier. Even if you can't see around the, what's around the next corner, go forward slowly and gently. You are safe when you take the time to go. Uh, when you take the time to go slowly, new perceptions emerge that you can't see if you're moving fast. Move away from the rapid pace of everyday life and step into the majesty of stillness. Resist the impulse to go ahead with your first instinct. Take time to tune into your deeper intuition. Power is born in those times when you relax into the present moment. The sacred traveler wants you to know, sometimes the mist and fog so thick that the traveler feels uncertain about everything. Where am I going? What am I meant to do? Why can't I see what's ahead? However, it's in those moments of unknowing that the deepest and most profound answers to life's big questions can emerge. The secret is to traverse slowly and carefully so as to not fall off the path. Be careful. Proceed with caution in all things as you sense the best direction. Listen to the whisperings of your soul and trust your inner voice. That's right. Now, in the recent past, you guys have really just been feeling, like I said, been feeling uh, really confused. Not really sure about where to go, but in the present energy, it's happening. You guys are starting to realize that a shift and a change needs to happen. You are starting to make the moves towards the thing that you need to shift and change in. It's happening presently. In your energy, because this is your present energy. It's happening now. Deciding to move on and transition. You've been really going slow and taking your time or just been feeling like you just don't know what the hell is going on, pile three. What's going to happen next and been really stuck in limbo. And limbo. You've been stuck in limbo. But now you're about to transition into the, ne into the next part of your world. Because in the future, we have poised and TikTok, which lets me know, like, you're not going to transition until Father, God, Source, whatever you know it as, Universe, whatever the hell you know him as. I call him Father, God, whatever. You're not going to transition until it's time. <laughs> divine timing is at play in your life, Pile 3. Uh, yeah, Pile 3. Divine timing is at play. And 
things are going to be revealed to you. You're going to have the clarity and the light brought into your life when it's time. When it, when you decide that it's time, when you no, when you become more clear on what time it is or when it's time to shift. This is a very confusing reading, a, a very confusing reading. Like even my own words is getting mixed up here ever since the ever since the start of this pile. This is a real dense layer of fog and confusion in here, like <laughs> very dense. You guys have really just been going through it. I feel a lot of anxiety, a lot of like not able to get your thoughts together. This hasn't been a fun time for you, Pile 3, and I'm sorry about that. That's what I thought. And here we, because we have 48, which uh, boils down to 12, which also boils down to a number three. And here we have divine timing, which is 30, which boils down to a three, and this is Pile 3. This is, a, like I said, a very deep and esoteric reading. Your life is going to shift and change in divine timing once, you're, once the universe, Father, Source, God decides that you're truly ready for it, that you truly are aligned with his will and aligned with what you need for your life, then things are going to shift. But it's only going to shift once you're once you're ready. And you're going to be ready soon because these cards represent your future. This is your distant, your recent past, your present and your future. And things are going to move for you in divine timing. You just got to trust it. Go slow and take your time with take your time with the process because the trans because right now you are currently in transition. Things are moving, things are shifting, things are changing, and the clarity is going to come to you when the divine says so. When the divine says so, that's when things are going to happen. Things are going to become very clear, and the clouds is going to lift, and the sun is going to come out when it's time. But for now, you might really still just be fogged in. You might really still just be fogged in in the middle of a transition. <sighs> so meditate, pray, do what it is that you got to do to keep yourself safe, steady, and in control. Stillness is the name of the game here, Pile 3. Stillness and reflection. Because things are going to change when it's ready. When, when Father says so, when God says so, when the universe says so, your, your life, your path is in, divine t is in the hands of the divine right now. You don't get to say <laughs> about the day nor hour when things shift and change. And you need to find solace in the fact that it's not, some, it's not you, it's the universe. <laughs> things are being cooked up, shift and changed. But, you know, it takes a real high-minded person to find stillness in that. A lot of people tend to fall into the energy of being bratty. Like, oh, but I want it now. I've been going through this forever. When is it going to happen? Like, no. Calm yourself. Reflect. Be like the avatar. Sit down and meditate. <laughs> and then watch how, and watch how things change for you. Bro. 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 Oh, okay. All right. Come on. Come on. All right. This, I, I felt very strongly encouraged to pull a bunch of freaking cards for this pile. Because I feel like you guys really need to hear it. Because you guys have been going through it. I know what it feels like to really just be unsure. To not know, to not know where you're going. To just have your hand, have your life in the hands of the divine. It's a very, uh, can be a very uncomfortable feeling to know that your life is in divine timing. But do really just accepting that fact and like really coming to change your perspective on it and really just learning to find peace in it. Beautiful things can happen from this from this period. Like I was just in this period. In the past, we have strength. Like some of you guys probably have been going through this for like quite a while and you've been demonstrating patience is what I'm feeling with the strength card. A lot of delayed gratification. This could be my pile too. A lot of a lot of delayed gratification. <laughs> like things that you want not really coming in and you really just having to be patient and take your time. And yeah, take your time. You guys could have just been really to yourself lately or right now you're currently to yourself. 
really just like really making sure that you take the time to introspect, take inventory, and to really come down and like no stillness. Bring your energy inside of yourself. <laughs> take stock and inventory of what belongs and what don't be don't belong and see what you're going to have to leave behind on this new transition. And once you really do that, you're going to be ready. The divine is going to come for you and it's going to give you the, the stability that you so desperately been reaching out for that this person is like kind of just reaching for. You're going to get the stability that you want and that you've been craving. It's going to come through the hands of the divine when father is ready. The temperance card historically depicts an angel. I don't know who, if this is one here in this deck, but typically it depicts an angel. So I think it's Raphael. Things are going to happen for you in divine timing. <laughs> like really the temperance is just another reassurance of that. Stability, comfort, and the things that you really need is going to come for you when the divine says so. And you're just going to have to learn to get used and be okay with that. Because at the bottom deck, we had the Ace of Wands, the Six of Swords, the Fool, the Ace of Pentacles, and then the Eight of Cups, like two aces, the Six of Swords, and the Fool. This is change, 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 and divine bless and divine blessing and divine energy. Things are going to happen and move for you and transition for you when the divine is ready. Like literally, pile three. I can't say it any other way. The energy around you right now is out of your hands. The energy that you need to embody right now is stillness quietness, and probably a little bit of solitude, pile three. Reserve your energy. Reserve your reserve yourself. Learn to be still. Meditate and find peace in the fact that your life is moving. You're definitely in the middle of a transition and a change. It's happening. It's going through. And things are going to and Beautiful things are going to happen to you when the divine is, feels you're ready for it. Once you acclimize yourself and align yourself to it in the timing that it's ready because there's going to be opportunities that's going to uh, opportunity that's going to come your way that's going to have to cause you to leave something behind pile three that's what's coming to you pretty soon you're going to have to leave something behind and transition somewhere else with this eight of cups you're going to have to be a fool the the embody the energy of the fool card and dive into something new into a radical shift in the change of directions I really feel like you've been take you're being put in this period of stillness to really get inventory to take inventory and stock of yourself about if your life has really been going the way that you want it. What do you truly want out of your life? And when you get really clear on that, the opportunity to come and grab because I placed the Ten of Pentacles over the Ace of Pentacles, and you can and it seems like this guy is coming to grab it. Like even the sleeve on the Ace of Pentacles looks the same on the guy in the Ten. When the time comes. When you least expect it, your dream is going to be within reach and it's going to be up to you to grab it. But you have to recognize that as your dream at first, pile three. And that's why you're going through this period of stillness to see what it is that you truly want out of your life. And to be in, to build up the energy and the courage to transition to, towards your dreams and to walk away from whatever your life looks like right now, pile three. It's coming for you. You just got to be patient. You got to wait. And like I and like I've been feeling, I'm hearing don't be a brat about it either. Don't be a brat about this period. Once you develop some gratitude <laughs> and and really learn to be thankful for this period, it's gonna shift a lot faster. So pile three, that's your reading. If it resonated for you, please leave a like and a comment. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Uh, if you guys want to support my channel by booking a reading, the links to do that is in the description box. And if you guys want to donate a deck to my channel, because I love new decks, the my Amazon wish list is also in the description box. So thank you and be blessed. If you chose the manga tarot, then this reading is for you. All right, pile four. Let's see what we got here for you guys. You, know, you guys got the most cards out of all the piles. 
I think I got almost everything in frame. Almost everything. I won't be able to have everything in frame. You got too many cards, pile four. So pile four. The way I have this reading split is by your recent past, your present, and your future. In your recent past, we have Taken Shelter and Mystic Healer. The answers are within and healing energy flows through you. So right off the bat, I can tell that you guys are very spiritual. You guys could be healers, witches, star seeds, whatever, however you choose to identify yourself, you definitely are at least aware of the spiritual realm and of your spiritual power. And with taking shelter, the answers are within. In the recent past, you really have been inside yourself, pile three. Um, uh, pile, pile four. You guys probably picked another pile as well. <laughs> so that's something that uh, I'm going to put out there. You guys probably picked another pile. But you've been really inside yourself and doing a lot of soul searching and a lot of like healing. The mystic healer speaks of the energy flowing through you and from you. From inside of you to heal yourself and out of you to heal other people. But with the Take and Shelter card, this is mostly healing energy flowing into you. And probably through the through the power of the moon. Maybe the new moon in Pisces, which is the recent past because that is a transit that just shifted. Maybe the new moon in Pisces really allowed you to like really reflect, self-reflect and go within. This might be my one of my pals. <laughs> Have you self-reflect and go within and really allow you to like bring some new energy inside yourself to help you change, transmute, and transform. Uh you went inside yourself to find answers, pile four pile four, yeah. To go inside yourself to search and to answer some hard hitting questions inside of yourself that you needed to to have answered. I'ma read both of these cards, I guess. Let me see. I guess I'm heading towards taking shelter first, am I? Yeah. Retreat, replenish your inner resources, incubate your ideas for the future, renew your energy, do whatever you need to do to care for yourself, mend physical objects in your home, organize your possessions and heal relationships, protect yourself from less than positive outside forces, clutter clear, but at the same time, gather your resources around you. You're preparing for a kind of springtime energy in your life. But take care of details and create a foundation now before this spurt of energy. Now before this spurt of energy. Otherwise, it can seem overwhelming. Whatever. I don't feel like reading. <laughs> when winter comes or a storm threatens, the traveler takes shelter. Is a time of incubation, retreat, and gathering of inner resources. It's time to plan and prepare for the future and for springtime. New beginnings and a new cycle. The traveler knows the importance of rest and recuperation. Take care of your body and your health. Watch your dreams for insight about the future. Repair whatever needs to be repaired in your life. This really might be my pile, man. I just cannot. <laughs> but yeah, in the recent past... This is it. You guys have really just been taking the time to like really get uh, uh, to do some stock taking of yourself to figure out what it is that you want and need out of your life and to really make sure that you guys are coming to a place into an energy where you can like really get clear on what it is that you want and what doesn't need to be in your life anymore. So I'm going to read the Mystic Killer card. Inner and outer healing on all levels is occurring in your life. A situation, relationship, or physical challenge is being resolved. Have faith that it's happening. This is the time to find the source of challenges. Transform inner grievances. Do it now. You no longer need to carry it with you. You are a healing force for others, even if you are not aware of it. There are times when the traveler steps off the path to search for a myst the mystic healer. The healer instructs that everything... And nature has the intrinsic ability to restore itself and reminds you that you also have this powerful ability within you. For healing to occur on the outside, it's essential for healing to occur on the inner planes. To do this, meditate by visualizing a beautiful, vital future for yourself and trust that, re that recovery is on the way. Past life issues may be emerging in order to be released. Mystic healers are working with you to resolve emotional and physical challenges. Be patient and have faith that beneath the surface, all is well. 
this is your this is your recent past past energy. This is very deep, very spiritual. This is definitely a been any energy of stillness. You guys could have also been just like really having to go inside and redirect and refocus your energies and figure out what's important to you. Like I said, the Pisces new moon could have been very important because there was a time for people to get very introspective, contemplative, and to like really assess, to take inner stock of everything and what was in alignment with them spiritually. This is your recent past and the Pisces moon new moon was recent past energy. Now, currently, you guys are in the middle of like enforcing hard boundaries, kicking out the snakes and keeping out the energies that no longer aligns with you because something is about to erupt and transform with you, inside of you. There's something inside of you that you've really been keeping hidden, tucked away, and something that needs to be nurtured. And whatever it was that you've been nurturing, you couldn't have negative energies around and in it. You can't have negative energies around and in it, I must say, because this is your present energy. Right now, you really are building a wall around your energy. And I'm really feeling like it's time for you to start reserving your resources, reserving your energies. Give more to yourself than to other people right now. Because you need to make sure that your resources are in order for yourself, pile, three, pile four, and that everything is together and that you're able to really nurture and support yourself when the time comes for you to like come out. This really might be my pile for you to come out when you need to when you need to come out. There's a new you and a new energy that's being that's just waiting to spring forth from you, and especially with calm within transformation. This lets me know that you're handling this very well. <laughs> you're handling this period very well, uh, pile four. You're handling the period very, very well. This pile in particular. If you chose another pile, then that's okay. But this pile in particular, you're handling your hand. If this is the only pile that you picked, you're handling this transformation and this and this transition very well by remaining calm. Really going inside yourself and seeking your inner resources. Really beautiful energy here. So what's coming to you in the future, Pile 4, is community. This is a re-entering and a re-emergence back into society. You're going to come out as a brand new you, and you're going to really start finding, and I really feel like you're going to start meeting people that really aligns with the person that you really just came out. Like a snake sheds its skin. Right now, you're in the middle of shedding, in the process of shedding your skin, pile four, and coming out as someone brand new. You need to have your boundaries up, put a nice little screen around yourself and your energy to allow yourself to like really shed that skin and to erupt and come out as a brand new person. As the person that you've been kind of resisting and keeping deep down and, and suppressing inside of you for so long, you're going to be reintroduced into the world as the new you, pile four, and that's on period. <laughs> yes, you're going to be introduced as the brand new you and your energy is going to be infectious. People are just going to be healed just by like hearing you talk. You, you're you going to be so just like it's, I feel electricity. Electricity is going to be like coming off of your aura, pile four. That's like, su like a super sand, like a super sand. You're gonna you're gonna have like electricity coming out of your aura. You're gonna be immensely powerful after this transformation is done. And you're gonna go out into the world and you're gonna attract your like and like-minded souls and like-minded people. You're gonna be ready to reintegrate yourself into society. Here we have the devil card and your recent past energy. Ooh. <laughs> yes, your present is the chariot. Freedom from that devil. What's in the future? Ooh. Okay. What's the future energy? Wow. We have the eight of wands in reverse. And at the bottom deck... The page of point, the page of pentacles. So yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into it. The eight of well, I'm gonna take out the 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 next card that I saw on top too, because it's gonna really add to the eight of wands in reverse. So we have the eight of wands in reverse and the queen of cups clarifying it together for your future. So in the past, 
you probably really felt really trapped and bound. Like your life was like really going nowhere that, you know, <laughs> things was really hard, really difficult that you probably didn't even know what direction you needed to go in and take. But in the recent past, you decided to like really silence, kill all that noise, get focused on yourself and allow the energy of I'm really feeling the moon here because this woman has a moon headdress and she's being overlooked by an owl. I really feel like the, the new moon energy really helped a lot, really played a really big part in the shifting of your energy, Pile 4. It played a huge part in the shifting of your energy. And you're really just coming to a, a greater accept, a greater acknowledgement of who you are on the inside and what your inner needs are. And now presently, you're moving along your path. This is freedom. This is coming up from under the devil and moving towards the, the path that you really want in your life. That's why there's that energy of you keeping out negative influences, keeping out people that's not really that's not really given to you right now. Because there's a new you that's being born, that's ready to come out, and you're paving the way for it to come for the new you to come out in an authentic expression and for it to not feel forced. You're gonna pop up or like you're gonna start appearing to people as someone completely different than what they than what they are seeing, what they came to expect from you. And in the future, we see the Eight of Wands in reverse with the Queen of Cups. The Eight of Wands in reverse to me speaks of like, you know, a, a stag of stagnation. But I really feel like this is, I, when I see the Eight of Wands in reverse, I see them like stacking up like a wall and the Queen of Cups looking over it. Your way of communicating with people and engaging with the community is going to be very different. It's going to be less like quick and just like you saying things to so you being more purposeful, more deep, and much more kind and nurturing with your words, Pile 4. Maybe you guys have a, have a problem with people perceiving you one way when you're really another, but that way that you truly are is about to start coming out more. I'm feeling the sense of like deep emotional maturity, of kindness, of caring. That's really going to be on the forefront and in display. And other people are really going to start seeing that and noticing that about you. Yeah, because it's not just going to be quick and scattered communication. It's going to be more focused and more purposeful. And then at the bottom, we have the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles to me speaks of like actually starting a brand new chapter in your life, developing a new skill, or choosing a new direction in your life where you can like put some focus and dedication into a, a path in life that's really going to allow you to feel much more empowered within yourself. Pile, pile, uh, pile four. This could be a career change. This could be going back to school. This could be just like really trying to set yourself up for a brand new and beautiful life that you've always wanted for yourself. And this is taking action towards it with the Ace of Swords. There's something that you're going to dedicate yourself to studying, dedicating yourself to doing is really going to allow you to feel powerful. This could also be magic with the Queen of Wands here because the Queen of Wands is in fact a witch. So this could be about you studying like occult knowledge, esoteric knowledge, or even just going back to school and putting some time and effort into that and feeling more confident in that. Either way, action is going to be taken and success is yours, Pile 4. You've really been going through this period, through this particular period of transition very beautifully. And you're just, now you're, you're moving. I'm here, now you're cooking with fire. <laughs> now you're cooking with fire. And the way, if you maintain your current energy and your current tra trajectory, you're going to come out of this transformation very beautifully and come out a brand new, awesome, loving, caring, and competent person, Pile 4. So if this reading resonated with you, please leave a like and a comment. Uh, <laughs> share my video, please, with someone who you think might really want to hear this. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. If you guys want to book a reading with me, the links to do so are in the description box. And if you guys want to donate a deck to my channel, because I love new decks, my Amazon wish list is in the description box as well. Thank you guys for your time, your energy, and your consideration. And be blessed. Bye-bye.